All right, guys, now it's something a bit different. This one, I want to warn you, this is a, you can consider this a trigger warning. All right, guys, we're going to, normally, I have a rule in this channel where I don't talk about religion and I don't talk about politics. I'm breaking both of those now. So, if you guys do not want to be part of a discussion about politics and religion, I totally understand it. I normally almost never, literally never talk about it on my stream. I don't like to. I don't like to sully the stream. I don't like to sully the sanctity of silly fun gaming escapism with this kind of bullshit. However, this entire situation is too big to ignore. And I think, I think a lot of people are looking at this in a very different context. And the reason is, is because this is, so, so the situation for the long and short of it, I'll give a little short discussion of it before I share the clip. Short discussion of it, Asmongold has a clip where he's talking about the Israel-Palestine conflict, the attacks on Gaza in a very, very negative light and kind of generalized, creates a generalization uh, for Muslims that is extremely, extremely negative. And uh, it became this entire big thing on Twitter today uh, where everyone was reaming him, mostly fairly, some of them somewhat unfairly, uh, where it always ends up going. Uh, and, um, you know, starting to go into personal attacks as opposed to what he said, so on and so forth. I don't agree with that kind of stuff ever. Uh, I don't like to see it. I don't like it when it's directed towards me. I don't like it directed towards anyone else. I don't like to see that no matter who does it, no matter what the, uh, the situation is. Of course, that's what it turned into because Twitter is accessible. Uh, and uh, everyone just started to use that situation of what he said, whether it was egregious or not, whether people disagree with it or not. Uh, and I disagree personally with what he said, and I'll talk about why. I'll talk about that in great detail. But I will say that people decided to use it as a time to basically air all of their grievances and personally attack the man uh, as much as possible. Notwithstanding the fact that hours after he created the post, after he created the, uh, you know, entire discussion on Twitter, um, he decided to relook at the situation and be man enough to apologize for it. And we'll discuss all of that as well. So that is why I want to talk about it. Normally, Asmongold can have some very hot takes. Normally, they're not this on fire. <laughs> so this is, this is a bit of a, this is a bit of a stretch even for him. So I wanted to talk about the entire context of the situation uh, from beginning to end and my take on it. Because guys, for anyone who doesn't know, I am actually Muslim. Um, I know people in that area that is being attacked right now, the Gaza Strip, uh, Palestine. <laughs> and uh, I know a lot of context of the situation. He talks about Sharia law, for example. I know what that is. And I have some, you know, takes that you guys might find interesting as a Muslim who is also a streamer and a gamer and a variety content creator. So I wanted to give my take on the situation. I think it'll be far more even handed than any take you've seen so far. Perhaps the most even handed take you have ever heard on this entire situation or will ever hear on this entire situation by far. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let me go back to uh, my friend sent me the clip. So I want to bring up the entire clip uh, and uh, we will we'll start there. We'll start there. So uh, here is the clip in its entirety. And by the way, guys, I know I'm sus suspending my own rule to not talk about politics and uh, religion. But this this entire situation has gotten so ugly that I wanted to give my special input because I am in a special position where, like I said, I'm a gamer. I'm a streamer, I'm a content creator, and I'm also Muslim, and I'm also extremely, extremely moderate. So I understand a lot more about the situation than most people would. So let's start with it. Let me turn off the music because um, it's, it's a clip. So let's see. So we can hear everything he says in every detail. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. 
So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. Okay. It's cr Obviously, he's talking about Palestine. He's talking about the government of Palestine, and uh, he's talking about Hamas. Crazy that people don't see it that way. No. They'd be doing the same thing. Hmm. How much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able we'll to kill the entire as many thing people and we'll break as Israel down. because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. Okay, that's that's the entire clip. That's what he said. Now, a lot of people think he's talking about Muslims. He's not. First of all, I want to clear that up immediately from the very, very beginning. There's no doubt in my mind that he's not talking about Muslims. What I think happened here is he is talking about Sharia law that is enforced by Hamas. And they're a barbaric set of people, Hamas, that are literal terrorists that somehow gained control of an entire government and decided to utilize that power to kill another group of people as in Israelis. And it basically, you know, escalated the entire conflict between the two countries to the point that it's basically genocide on both sides. Attacks happening constantly, rockets blowing up constantly, people dying constantly. That is what is going on right now. That is the context of this situation. So if Asmongold had turned around and said, yeah, I believe all Muslims are that way, then it would be unconscionable. But he's talked about Islam before. He's talked about his respect for, you know, all the, the, the belief systems as long as they don't harm others and so on and so forth before. So considering that context, I don't think he's going there. I think what he's doing is a logical fallacy that I've experienced since 2001, September 11th, which is that when you see a group of horrible people, which is the extremely small minority, as in extremist Muslims, extremist terrorists, people that would do horrible, horrific acts of violence that are condemned by most of the people in their own community. Those people are conflated with the entire population as a whole. This is something that has been going on for 23 fucking years. And I know this because I've been in this situation as a kid growing up in America, dealing with racism, dealing with slurs, dealing with attacks, both verbal and physical, on every single level. Not even towards bullying, but for things that, if I prosecuted, would have been considered a hate crime. I have been in this situation more than literally anyone. No one knows this situation like I or anyone else in my situation would as in a kid growing up in the uh, the world of America post 9-11, when they're post 9-11 in a, in a, you know, a, a headspace and an age where they can understand the greater shit that's happening to them as a whole, as in it, it, in September 11th, I was in middle school. So I grew up from middle school, high school, college, so on and so forth, dealing with all this shit. And in middle school, I was mature enough to realize what the fuck was going on. I'm not talking about someone who's like two years old when September 11th happened. They didn't even know what happened it's immediately after. And it's, it's not, they shouldn't know. I mean, I would, I would never want them to know. But that is my context. Oh, no, it, it, uh, it, it, Guardsman, completely agreed and absolutely. Guardsman makes a really good point, and I'll bring this up right now. He stated uh, that the thing that you can also thank is select media. It's not select, first of all. I will say it's all media. Uh, somewhat for the stigmas, completely, by the way, just, just repairing those words, but absolutely for the stigmas created. Absolutely. Media feeds into, has fed into, and always will feed into these exact same stigmas. You are completely correct. I absolutely put the forefront of the blame upon the media because Asmongold is not stating 
some kind of unheard of discussion here. This is something that has been brought up by a lot of people before where I have, like, like I said, 23 years, otherwise relatively stable people that haven't really said anything too wacky. You know, they're not, you know, yelling out the N word every so often or anything like that. They're not fucking out and out racist or any, any shit like that. It, it's like otherwise relatively normal people will look at a Muslim because of the media ingraining into their head. All Muslims are terrorists, blah, blah, blah. You can't trust a Muslim, you know, say something, see something. Oh, if you hear the words Allah Akbar, you're going to get blown up. You know, all that kind of shit. This is the base level of what people think nowadays. And it has been since September 11th. Partially out of necessity, but also it is a it is to a different level. It has been to a different level. You know, it, 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 you've never really heard the other side. You've never really heard the side of the, the vast majority, the 99.99% of Muslims being like, dude, we fucking hate these terrorists too. We don't condone them. They're pieces of shit. We're trying to kill them in our own countries. These absolute fucking asshole terrorists. Like, that's what the base Muslim experience is, by the way. So, over 1 billion people aren't evil. However, if you listen to media, you would think that. And I think all that's really happened here is something that, like I said, happened for 23 years. The general population has been conflated for the actions of a few horrific people. Normally, like I said, terrorists, extremists, horrific people that we don't like, uh, normal Muslims of any kind do not like, we condone them, we try to literally hunt them down and kill them in our own countries, okay? Those people are being conflated with regular Muslims. We're not. We're not the same. We, we, we literally disabuse uh, them of that notion every chance we get. They're not our people. They're fucking pieces of shit that try to murder others. One of the biggest laws in Islam, by the way, is that you can never murder an innocent person, ever, for any reason. There's no, there's no like, you know, caveats around it. It's like if you kill a kid, if you kill an innocent, you're done. You're going to hell. It doesn't matter what the context is. It doesn't matter what excuse you gave it. You're literally donezo. It is in, it is in our holy book in like 50 fucking different places. But will the media ever read that shit out? No. But that's the media. That's the media being pieces of shit. So as a result, I don't expect normal people to know that. It's very sad, but that is what it is. Okay? Now, moving on, I think Asmongold's situation is that he has conflated Hamas and Hamas's literal breed of inhumanity and horrific nature and the way they treat others, the way they kill others, the way they attack others, the way they judge people on their identity and, and use that as an excuse for violence and so on and so forth. He has taken that subset, those horrible people, which to be fair, have a lot of power. They've literally taken over an entire government. Hamas has control of Palestine. That is the facts, 100%. That, it, that was covered in ages ago, in years ago when it happened, and, and that is the truth today. He is conflating those people with all of Palestine. That's the issue here, okay? That is the issue here. Now, is, does that suck? Absolutely. Does he deserve some pushback for that? Absolutely. But is it an, a mistake that a lot of people make? Millions upon millions of, upon millions of people? Also, absolutely. I don't think he's completely wrong in this statement either. The people that have control of the government in Gaza, in Palestine, are horrific people. They do kill each, uh, others just for their just for their uh, um, uh, beliefs, just for the fact that you know if there's a gay person in Gaza, they're going to be killed. You know, so on and so forth. Absolutely, hundred percent, taking away women's rights, all that bullshit. That happens there. Yeah. The fact that they try to, you know, launch attacks on Israel, killing civilians. Absolutely. They've literally fucking like murdered them in cold blood, slitting their throats of little kids and women and so on. Absolutely. That happens. That's not the people of Palestine, though. That is Hamas. That's the, that's the distinction that wasn't made here. That's the one problem here. Okay. So that is my take on the entire situation. The people of Hamas are fucking horrific people. Absolutely.
the people of Palestine, the innocent people, which is the vast majority of people in that country, do not deserve to be genocided. No one deserves to be genocided. Israel doesn't deserve to be genocided. No one does. Why is it such a wild fucking take that no one deserves genocide? Why is that such a wild take these days? I cannot understand why this is such a wild take these days. It is crazy. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, when the, the old adage, exactly, Mr. Lilly, you bring up a good point. And there's a bad apple in the basket, it doesn't mean they're all bad. Yeah. What what do you do if there's a rotten apple in a basket of apples? You take out the rotten apple and you throw it away. It doesn't mean the rotten apple has infected the other apples. Jesus fucking Christ. Exactly. We learned this when we were kids. Ex exactly, Mr. Lily. Exactly. People have forgotten that analogy. People have forgotten basic fucking human decency and logic. That's what happened, Mr. Lily. That's what happened. Now... <clears throat> going on to the uh, to the the rest of the situation here. Nuclear war is a solution? No, nuclear war would be a terrible fate for the entire world, uh, Nals. But uh, yeah, um, the the you know what the you know what the actual solution is, Nals. You know what the actual solution? The actual solution. Why is no one pissed off at the United Nations for being an absolute useless piece of shit lump of crap that should be intervening in a situation like this? They should be corralling all of the powers of the world going into this situation and any other where it is some unfair, horrific genocide level shit like Russia, Ukraine, like uh, Palestine, Israel, like Rwanda, like Libya. Like all of these, why do we have a useless body called the UN that doesn't go in, take the toys away from both sides and say, hey, both of you disgusting motherfuckers, you're killing people by the thousands. You are both not allowed to play with your toys anymore. Why do we not have that? That is the real issue. You want to lay blame somewhere? Lay blame at the fucking UN for being useless. You want to lay blame somewhere? Lay blame at the governments of the world, the most powerful ones, which let the situation get out of hand while paying both sides. Literally. Dude, look at the military industrial complex of the United States. All right? We give money, armaments, weapons of all kinds, grenades, bullets, copters, tanks, military technology, you name it. We've given it to both sides, both Israel and Palestine. We're literally playing both ends. We've done it for Russia and Ukraine as well. We're literally fucking playing them both for money. That is the actual, actual issue. That is the actual issue. Uh, Nals, I don't think that's the case, and if you say anything racially charged like that, you will be banned, okay? No. The real problem here is, Nals, I hope you're here so you can listen to this, okay? So you can listen to this and learn something for once in your goddamn useless piece of shit life, okay? Stop listening to the media. Stop listening to Alex Jones. Stop listening to all these fucking idiots, okay? None of them know what the fuck is going on, alright? The problem is, the it, it's always about class. It's always about classism. It's always about the people who have a lot of money using that power over people that don't. Okay? That is what the problem is. You think it's only Jewish people that have this power? Are you fucking idiotic? Dude, look at how many people are in powerful situations that are completely atheist. Does that mean all the atheists are bad, horrific human beings that deserve nothing but an ire? No! It means that there's something wrong with rich people, dude. That's what it fucking means. That means that in order to become a super giga ultra powerful in this world, to be able to own Lockheed Martin, to be able to own like, you know, uh, um, any of the other fucking military industrial complex companies. I don't know. I can't name them off the top of my head. I don't, I don't, I don't like to fucking torture myself with hor horrible, horrible people enough uh, to know what their names are off the top of my head. But you can look them up. All of those people... Those are the problem, okay? In order to be those people, you have to be a broken human being that tries to see others as lesser. If you see that group of people, by the way, Nalls, as lesser, because that is what you're doing by saying what you said, you are part of the problem. No one is lesser. It's the fucking human race, okay? What race is your favorite? I hear that question all the time when people are trying to be edgy and racist. 
only real answer is the human race. Shut the fuck up. That's it. That's literally it. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your background is. I don't care what you do. As long as you're not hurting others. If you hurt others, you belong in jail. If you don't hurt others, you're you're fine. I don't give a fuck. All right? It's, it's that simple. It's that simple. But when you're at that level of power for a Lockheed Martin, for a, for a Google, you, th you don't think Google has a hand in this? Dude, they're the ones who own the cobalt mines to put slaves into. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus fucking Christ. Every, every fucking government does this. Every fucking large corporation does this. iPhone. iPhone. Dude, iPhone. Apple has financed so much shit in these countries in order to take over mining lands. Are you kidding me? I would know because I did international business. Okay, I literally worked in this industry, not in this particular industry, but other industries around trying to do like housing projects in those fucking countries and finding out that, wow, I have to compete with Apple, who is literally buying up entire swaths of land, destroying all the crops on top so they can make sure to starve people out so they can have more power in the area. That's the reality, bro. Okay, the haves killing the have nots, the people in power basically utilizing every excuse in the book to have power over those that have nothing that is has been and always will be the real root of the problem in the world today and what it amounts to at its base core greed there's nothing worse in this world than greed that is where everything stems from hate generally stems from greed every wrath definitely stems from greed how many wars were started over money? Everything stems from greed, okay? Learn something, Nalls. Get your head out of your ass. Learn something. Because it's really that simple. No one will ever give it to you straighter than I just did, okay? People on both sides will hate me for saying what I said. Do I give a fuck? No. I don't give a fuck, okay? I will always say it straight. I will always say it straight. So, moving on. So they decided, people used uh, used his words, which were reprehensible words. They were not good words. Uh, but they, I tried to give, you know, a fair context, which I think is correct. And I think if you asked Asmongold, he would probably say I'm correct. But this situation was, of course, used to uh, for have people attacking him. Oh, his room sucks. Oh, this and that and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, this is, this is, uh, I think he, I think this is a fair thing, though. He should have listened to his own advice. Him a year ago, he said, weird as fuck to see so many people coming out with statements about the Israel-Palestine conflict as if they need to comment on it. Can we please stop this weird culture around expecting people with no relevant background or education to talk about world events and politics? This, I think, is the more, uh, the most fair description and comment that could be made about the situation. I don't think anyone should have asked Asmongold the situation because, frankly... Even though I like Asmongold's gaming content, I don't give a fuck what he thinks about Israel and Palestine. There's no way he would have the context I would have. Why the fuck would anyone even ask him? Why the fuck is Hassan Abi so popular these days, being such an absolute lunatic with the things he says sometimes? Holy shit, he said horrible things as well. Like he, dude, there was little terrorists he had on his fucking podcast and he's fawning over them asking, oh, what kind of anime do you like? Bitch, this guy's a fucking terrorist. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Why do people watch this content where it's like fucking politically charged? Why do you expect a random no-name person who has no background in anything but streaming to know anything about the reality of politics and geopolitics and genocide? None of them is going to know. That's why I have no care about something that someone may or may not support. If so, like someone came to me and they're like, oh, why do you watch Gal Gadot movies? She's, 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 she used to train Israel, blah, 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 Israel military, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't, she's a fucking actress. I don't give a fuck what she thinks. Why do you care what any actor, actress, celebrity of any kind thinks? You shouldn't give a fuck what I think, okay? Maybe give a fuck what I think by being a moderate Muslim. But don't give a fuck what I think because I'm a streamer. I wouldn't give a fuck what I think because I'm a streamer. You should not care about anything a single celebrity thinks in any situation about anything except what they specialize in. For me, it's gaming. For me, if you want to listen to me talk about, you know, uh, Ubisoft sucking, trust me on that. I know a lot about Ubisoft sucking dicks, okay? 
I can talk about Ubisoft sucking dicks all the live long day and be right in everything I say because that's my fucking wheelhouse. You want to talk about cancer research? I did cancer research for 10 years. Absolutely trust me when I talk about cancer research because I did that shit as a job for 10 fucking years. You want to talk to me about politics? Don't trust what I say about politics. I'll give you an even-handed take. Absolutely. But I don't know everything there is to know. I know this situation. And I'll comment on this situation because I'm a moderate Muslim. And so as a result, knowing people in that area, both in Israel, both in Palestine, I don't want to see either groups of people die. Okay? I can definitely give you my honest and even take on that side of the situation. And the only reason I'm commenting on this, by the way, is because I am a streamer. So I can comment on a streamer, which is why I'm commenting on this. Uh, why was uh, why was he even asked about it? Why exactly? Hassan was being dumb, in my opinion. Oh, Hassan is always dumb. Hassan's head is always up his ass. I, uh, dude, I dislike ninety nine percent of what Hassan says because he he, uh, dude. The thing I respect about Asmongold is he will say, "Don't listen to me about this stuff because I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a streamer." Don't listen to streamers. What I just said, this is not rocket science. This is something that Asmund Gold himself has said. You can check his VODs. He said it in various discussions. Anytime he's complaining about Hassan or whatever, he'll always bring that up. Why do people listen to streamers about these politically charged things? That's what he says himself, okay? So it's not, it's not that wild, baseless type of thing. Now, going on beyond that, going on beyond that, um, Asmund Gold will definitely step his foot into things. But the good thing here is that Asmongold did give a response. And of course, people are trying to use this as an excuse to try to get Asmongold banned. Like, of course, every single time, every single time uh, anyone disagrees with anything he says, and he says a lot about a lot of things. So people do disagree with him often. So um, here, here is his entire response to the situation. I thought it was a pretty good response. It was about 12 hours ago. Looking back on it, I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestine thing. My bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. I think he realized he's talking about a situation that he actually doesn't know about, and uh, he put his foot in it. I think that's what he's realizing here. And he is right. It is true. And uh, someone says, don't apologize. You never do. Why are you doing this now? I don't mind apologizing if it's something I'm truly actually wrong about. So he's actually admitting that he's wrong. Given the amount of times I've gotten hate for things, never apologize should be proof enough of that, which is also true. He's absolutely happy to, uh, you know, uh, stick his foot in his situations and, and talk about shit and never apologize for it if he truly believes he's right. And there's no, there's no doubt in my mind he would have done the same here if he truly felt that way. I think he's realizing that he's generalizing too much here. And I think that he's realizing, hopefully, maybe he has a Muslim in his friend group, a moderate Muslim who knows a little bit more about the situation, considering their background and, and like, you know, their actual culture and everything, basically telling him, eh, you kind of don't know what you're talking about here, buddy, because, uh, yeah, I mean, Hamas is not Islam. Like, this, these are not the same thing. Hamas is fucking terrorists. Muslims don't like terrorists. We hunt down terrorists and kill them in our own countries. Like, we have we have a long list of the steps we've taken. And my heritage is Pakistani. Pakistan government, certain certain iterations of the government, have done a lot of work trying to root out terrorism and murder them in cold blood because they're terrorists. Okay, they they call themselves Muslim. Not everyone. Who call, another thing you got to realize is not everyone who calls themselves something is something. If someone calls themselves a Christian and murders a, 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 a child and a mother in cold blood and rapes them and does horrific crimes, which serial killers have done, that's why I'm bringing it up, they're not a Christian. I don't, I don't paint Christians with that brush. Are you fucking dumb? Absolutely not. So if someone's a Muslim or calls themselves a Muslim and they, they you know, they, they crash the Twin Towers. They've done that. Does that mean all Muslims do that? God, no. There were Muslims, there were innocent Muslims on that flight. They didn't deserve to die. They're, they didn't want anything to do with this. It's literal extremists. Extremists of any brand, any group, any type are all pieces of shit and they deserve to burn in hell. Extremism of any kind is bad. 
and the generalized population never deserves to be painted with that brush. Shocker, guys. The old adage is true. Generalization is bad. That is the real crux of the matter here. Generalization when Asmongold was doing it was bad. Generalization when people are saying, oh, anything Asmongold says is bad because he said one thing that I don't agree with. That's also fucked up as well. All of it is just bad. Just don't do generalization, guys. It's really not that fucking complicated. Um, all right. Uh, genocide is making the Sharia law. Well, the thing is, uh, yeah, I explained that, Sharon. So, first of all, Sharia law is, is weird. Okay, Sharia law has a lot of weird shit in it. However, the vast majority of Muslims don't believe in Sharia law. You look at the vast majority of Muslim countries out there uh, in terms of population, and we don't have Sharia law. We have Americanized law. We have Westernized law. We have democratic law for a reason. It's because we don't want Sharia law. Because Sharia law does have some stuff baked into it that people in power abuse all the time. And guess what? That's exactly what's happening. Hamas is a terrible fucking place. A terrible group of people. They're literal terrorists. They're the ones who have power. Um, oh, no, no, I know, Surreal. I was just letting you know. Yeah, just outlining what Asmongold was saying. Exactly. Um, I was just giving my context on it. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, but yeah, the the, uh, the the people that are that make up Hamas are literal fucking terrorists. And the people of Palestine are generally, not all of them, obviously there's bad eggs, but they're generally innocent people. No one deserves genocide. It's really that simple. No one deserves it. N n fucking Israel doesn't deserve it. No one deserves it. Not a single group of people on earth deserves genocide. Shocking that that is such a bold and crazy statement these days. It's really not that hard. Generalizing that is generalizing is bad. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The generalization exception, exactly. Um, yeah, Karachi has had wild amounts of terrorist attacks. Exactly. Um, yeah, they're affected as much as anyone else. Actually, they're affected worse, Ron. Um, I live in a Muslim country, although I'm not Muslim, Pizzerina says. Muslims are nothing like what social media wants you to think. Based and true. They're not terrorists or terrible people. Great people, in fact. They're extremists and terrible Muslims that do not represent their faith. Um, and in fact, you'll have that in every religion, and it's exactly just how humans are. Yeah. Humans are generally decent people. Democrats are generally decent people. Republicans are generally decent people. The extremists are fucked up. I will even go so far as to say that. People are like, oh, but I think, I think, I think what's happened is that social media, and this is like the root of the issue here, guys. Social media has just made people too divisive now, too tribalistic, too willing to generalize groups of people. Why? Because it's easier. And no matter what, what is one of the base mentalities of humanity? They want to do the path of least resistance. Always remember this phrase, guys. Take it from me as someone who worked in healthcare and and and, and business. People go not most people go for the path of least resistance. So if it's easier to believe that a group of people is one thing because it's just, you know, easier to think of a group of people as opposed to, ah, but what if, you know, lots of people don't fit into this? Now I have to think of complicated situations. Now I can't just group people up in one big glop and just yell at them all. And, and you know, basically um, uh, have them as the root of all my problems and project onto them all of my insecurities. When they can't do that, then they have to actually use their brain. People don't want to use their brain, guys. That is why they go for the path of least resistance. People don't want to think, wow, all of these complicated groups of people are the problem. No, we just had Nalas come in here and blame Jewish people for everything. That's not fucking true. Absolutely not. From a shadow of a doubt. Absolutely not. But the problem is he's small minded and he wants to think in terms of generalizations because it's the path of least resistance completely on the opposite side of the spectrum, but it is still the path of least resistance. He can think, oh, this one small group of people is the root of all of my problems. They're why I'm not rich. They're why I'm not powerful. They're why I live in a one bedroom shithole and I hate myself and wanna, you know, uh, cry at night. That's not the truth. The truth is you're a fucking loser if you think like this. That's, it's that simple. 
Is that something? Conforming is easy. Think of yourself hurts brain. Exactly. Exactly. Critical thinking is just hard. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, wait, Saran. I didn't realize that about your husband. I had no idea. I had no idea. We never really talked about your personal life. That's awesome, my friend. Yeah, there you go. Dude, I, I have like half my family lives in Pakistan, Saran. Exactly. In various parts, you know? Absolutely. It, it Dude, it's horrific. It can be horrific there. People, specific people are generally the problem. Sometimes specific ideologies are troublesome, but ideologies are not followed or interpreted the same by everyone. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that, that's partly true. Uh, so, Kat, your stance on Palestine-Israel situation is somewhat neutral, but opposing the murder of innocents on both sides. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It, it's it's a crazy, crazy comment on, the, the, uh, on where humanity is right now when me stating <laughs> that, wow... Both sides getting getting genocided is bad. I don't like anyone to die on either side. It is seen as a wild take these days, Pizzerino. Yeah, that is my take. Yeah, it's it's crazy that that is considered so rare now. Yeah, it's, it's Pizzerino just said, yeah, that's exactly what I think. It's actually very rare to find someone else that thinks that same way. Yeah, it's it's crazy that it's felt so rare now. Um, uh, Blank is bad, what is that? Death is bad. Should be a common take. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. F forced death. Yeah, you know, like it's not. It's not like you know, some some old person dying of like you know a heart attack at like age ninety. That's that's just life. But like actual death, where where someone's caused it, someone's caused pain to someone else. That's bad, dude. If some asshole Muslim does something bad to the point that he's killed people, I want the death penalty for him. I am a strong pro proponent of the death penalty. I think if you've murdered an innocent human being, you deserve to die. I think that. Absolutely. But I think that no matter who does it. If someone has killed an innocent, they deserve to die. That's it. It's that simple. It's that simple. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, genocide is meaning while people are dying on both sides. I do not believe genocide is happening as the word means. Um, I think genocide is clearly happening on both sides. Uh, a group of people is being targeted en masse on both sides. As in... The uh, Hamas is targeting Israelis, no matter who they are, no matter where they are. If they're in a hospital, if they're at the beach chilling out, if they're a soldier, whatever. They, they just glomp them on it all in the same group of people and decide to kill them all. That is what Hamas does. They are opportunistic. They try to take whoever is the easiest to take and, and do horrible, horrible things to them. But that is what they think. Absolutely. And, and Israel is absolutely doing that on that side. They're launching bombs the left, right, and sideways. You can tell based on the weapons they use, Sion. And both sides are using generalized, large-scale weapons, as in big bombs that don't target, you know, specific sites or anything like that. They're going for collateral fucking damage. Smart targeted weapons? Which one is using smart targeted weapons? What do you mean? It's it's not smart targeted weapons, bro. Not all. I mean, they're, they're going in and they're killing people en masse, bro. 100%. 100%. But yeah, there it is. Uh, uh, these are genocidal attacks from Israel and Hamas at this point in time. Exactly, exactly, Saran. Yeah, not all attacks are genocide, but this is a situation where both sides are genocide. That's my take on it, Sion. Absolutely. Now, you can feel free to disagree with that take, uh, but yeah, that is that is my take. Uh, they, they're Both sides are targeting innocents, and that much is clear. If you're targeting innocents, you're doing genocide. That's my base take. Maybe I'm being too um, broad with my brush, but I also don't care. I also don't care because I don't like to see innocents die on any side. I, I don't care who it is. I literally don't care who it is. I don't want to see innocents targeted in, in Russia. I don't want to see innocents targeted in Ukraine. Why is that so wild? Why is that such a wild take? In fact, I don't want to see any attacks of any kind happen to anyone. I think that's crazy. That the uh, like I said, I think the biggest travesty is people are. You know what? Let me go to full screen again. Here's another take. You all should be mad, but you are all mad at the wrong people. If you're mad at Asmund Gold, you're mad at the wrong person. If you're mad at uh, Assad, you're mad at the wrong person. If you're mad at the media, even you're mad at the wrong people. At its core. Because those people don't have power. They're not the ones making the decisions. Who you should be mad is at our government. Who you should be mad 
is that our political leaders on both sides of the aisle, because they both give money to both sides. Why? Because they want to make money. That's why. You should be mad at the fact that the UN has zero fucking power, real power in the world. And they have not stopped really a single actual conflict that needed to be stopped in time in any way, shape or form. They didn't stop Rwanda. They didn't stop Libya. They didn't stop Iraq. They didn't stop Iran. They didn't stop any of the genocides that China has done. And China has done them like fucking like fucking hotcakes, bro. Like they do this shit all the time. They're like the goats. They're like the goats of this. And they didn't stop Ukraine, Russia. They've only exacerbated the situation. And they didn't stop Palestine, Israel in any of the decades that that's had issues. And they could have stopped it way long ago. If the governments of the world united, you don't think they could stop Israel, Palestine? Take away both sides toys and say, shut the fuck up. Both of you guys are acting like spoiled children. You guys are killing each other. Stop this shit. All right. They could, they, they could have done this at any moment in time. That's who you should be mad at. You want to be mad at someone? Get mad. You want to get mad? I'm fucking pissed. Okay. I hate to see humanity kill itself. I fucking despise this shit. But I can tell you, that's why I'm mad. Those are the people I'm mad at. I'm pat you should be mad at the people in power. I'm mad at the people in power. And it's, it's the problem is everyone has blood on their hands in power. Every fucking one of them. China has blood on their hands. Israel has blood on their hands. Palestine has blood on their hands. China has blood. I said China twice. Uh, uh, Japan has blood on their hands. They're, they've done genocides before. Oh my God, dude. There were the goats of genocide before World War II. Germany has blood on their hands. USA has blood on their hands. All these fuckers have blood on their hands. Okay? All of them. Genocide is maximizing collateral damage. Both do it. Both do it, Sion. Okay? If you're not educated enough to understand that, you need to take a breath, understand that level-headed people are telling you to look into the situation a little bit more. Okay? And then come back to the situation. Don't talk about it in here because this is the only time we'll ever talk about that situation in here. Because this is a situation talking about a streamer going through this shit and why you should never listen to streamers. Don't listen to me. Uh, I agree with everything Asmund said. You Muslims have been destroying the world for centuries. Civilized world has had enough of your garbage religion. Uh, James Gilchrist, buddy. You know what's really funny about your brand of idiocy? Let me tell you. Hold on. We'll, we'll give him a moment. You know what's really funny? Not even Asmongold thinks this way, you piece of shit. Are you fucking dumb? Dude. You're so full of hate, you're actually a complete fucking imbecile. Not even Asmongold thinks this, dude. You need to get fucking help, man. Like, holy shit, I cannot believe we found someone so dumb. I cannot believe- Bro, we are bringing out the woodworks of absolute idiots. Hey, James Gilchrist, buddy, I want you to know. Here, let me give you my YouTube, buddy. You can take my YouTube. And I'm going to link you my most recent video. It's about Diablo 4. Normally, I cover gaming videos. But I'm going to make this entire discussion into a video today so you can listen to it from the beginning. Okay? There you go. There you go. So I want you to know that not even Asmongold agrees with you, bro. Because what he's doing is just generalizing Hamas to be all Palestinians. That is his issue. He has no problem with Islam. He's talked at length about Islam having good people and how you cannot blame a religion for being evil when that religion is followed by literally over a billion people. That's like saying a billion people are wrong. That's like Democrats saying all Republicans are wrong about everything. There's no fucking way. That's like all Republicans saying Democrats are all wrong about everything. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way half the country is wrong about everything. There's anyone who believes, if you believe every Republican is wrong about everything, you're incorrect. You're just factually incorrect. There is no way half the country is wrong about everything. There's no way. This is true for any situation of any generalization of any group of people and any group belief of any kind. I don't think the U.S. should get involved as a U.S. citizen. I want U.S. citizens getting hurt in foreign conflicts. I didn't say that they should get into the conflict militarily, Guardsmen. That's why I brought up the U.N. Exactly. I don't agree that, you know, we should send troops there. I agree with you there. I completely agree with you. I don't want to send troops there. I don't want to send troops anywhere. I think the fact that we've sent troops to so many places using our power as the U.S. 
to basically impose our will on other countries just to enrich the U.S. in many different situations is fucking dog shit. We've done it a lot. Why do you think a conflict pops up where resources? Oh, man, there's a lot of oil here. Oh, man, I really don't like that government. I mean, that shit has happened how many times? Shit, man, that's a lot of fucking times. That's a lot of fucking times, let me tell you, guardsmen. I don't want that to happen anywhere, bro. That's why I was saying that the people in power, the governments in power, who are literally making money off this situation, they're the problem. If Americans wanted to fix the situation, they'd have to use their brain a little bit. Uh, why assume uh, uh, I am uninformed? Um, by the way, you, uh, you spelled uniformed. Um, but I want you to know, Sion, that you're uninformed because you don't understand the facts on the ground that both people are being genocided. So if you don't understand that basic fucking fact, you are uninformed. Now, if you can't take this and understand that maybe you should look into the situation a little bit more, then that's a you problem. And you either can take that, understand that, and move on from it. This is why I don't talk about this shit in this channel, okay? You can move on from it and enjoy the gaming vibes of this channel, or you can leave. Frankly, I don't give a fuck. I want you to stay because I want you to think with level head, but I don't expect you to do so at this point because you're getting very, very angry and you're not understanding the point here that both people are having genocide happen to them because both sides are having innocents killed en masse. That is my definition of genocide. So by my definition of genocide, both sides are being genocided, okay? And it's, it's not such a wild take to say that and to say that neither one should be genocided. It's not a wild take. I think that's a very even-handed take. So if you want to get arguing in semantics, I think that is reductive and useless. I would say try to focus on some actual useful shit. Okay? Like I said, get mad, but get mad with some fucking real reason behind it and at the right people. Don't get mad at me for telling you you're uninformed. Get mad at yourself for not understanding the facts on the ground and not willing to be honest enough to understand my very basic interpretation of what genocide is, okay? Calm down, take a fucking breath, and understand what I'm saying. I will treat you like a man because I'm gonna treat you like a man, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. I don't fucking coddle anyone for anything, and I'm not gonna start now. There you go. <clears throat> it's a different definition about genocide is fine. I'm not upset at all. I'm understanding better now that you explained it. There you go. Thank you, Sion. Okay, good. See, guys, when you treat others as human beings and as adults, things happen in a positive way. This should be shown to every fucking group of people around the planet. Look at that. We talked at each other like adults. We explained the situation very clearly as adults. And good stuff happened. There we go, Sion. Hell yeah. Done and dusted. Done and dusted. Sorry about the ad, guys. Sorry about the ad. Uh, U.S. has gotten involved in three years militarily. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. And, and it's, it's the same kind of power that they impose. That's, that's my problem with it. Absolutely. Because, like, remember, guys, the U.S. has given money on both sides of each conflict for a very long time. We gave money uh, and weapons and stuff both to uh, Israel and Palestine over the years. We've done it in drastic measure. We've given uh, military planes both to Pakistan and India when they're slinging stones, bombs, and missiles at each other. Absolutely, bro. 100%. M Dude, the U.S. loves doing this. They make a lot of money on it. Why? Because Lockheed Martin loves fucking doing this shit. Because, um, uh, uh, hold on. Let's, let's see, let's see the worst operators, bro. Let's see the worst operators. <laughs> Biggest members of the military industrial complex AOA how are we today we're hanging in my friend we're we're talking about some heavy shit normally I don't talk about this stuff but I think that it is very very uh Boeing Boeing was the one I forgot yeah Northrum Grumman this guy root of all evil Raytheon pieces of shit General Dynamics pieces of shit Boeing pieces of shit Lockheed Martin pieces of shit all the companies that feed into them pieces of shit you want to be mad at someone, guys? Sion, you want to be mad at someone? This is who you'd be mad at, okay? There you go. It's right there. If you start looking into this 
and you start seeing how much money these pieces of shit make from killing on every single side of every single conflict, you'll be like, wow, these people are the devil. These people. That's what it is. Muslims, generally good people. Christians, generally good people. Jewish people, generally good people. Atheists, generally good people. Only these people are pieces of shit. These are the real pieces of shit. These people are the root of all evil. Base systems? I don't know base systems. I don't know them, but you might be right. I was just Googling a random list, uh, triamorous, buddy. But if you have like others, yeah, I mean, go for it. Yeah, share share the other share the other names of the military industrial complex companies. Though those are these. This is the real problem here. This is why nothing is ever solved, and this is why they do it because they make billions upon billions upon trillions of dollars, and they have all the politicians in their fucking pocket. And anyone they don't have there in their pocket, they kill. First, they try to make them lose. And if they can't make them lose, they kill them. That's what happens. That's what happens. Literally, and it's not, I'm not talking about just U.S. politics. I'm talking this happens everywhere. Dude, if if there's a if there's a, uh, um, a, a fucking guy running for president in Pakistan, and he is not part of the military industrial complex, these fuckers will kill him too. They do this shit all over the world, man. They They specialize in this shit, man. Holy fuck, man. This is the problem of the world right there. Right there. That is the problem. Yeah, if you work day job, big sad. That's okay. I'm, I'm pretty gassed out. I, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, there's a lot of greedy people and they won't stop until they have the world in their pocket. Exactly. Yeah. You, you want to see another group? Nestle. Nestle literally wants to own the water, bro. They, they, they've taught the, the, the CEO of Nestle's how about like, I want to own the water. You want, you know, if I own the water, then, you know, we can, we can afford it. You know, humans need water three, literally every three days. It, that's sheer evil. Those people are evil, man. That's the real root of the evil in the world. There you go. And then there's, there's countless examples of this. You want to bring up some other ones? Uh, you think that water isn't right? Exactly. That's what I mean. Uh, the, the, there's, there's countless examples of these guys. There's countless examples and you can find them all the live long day. In fact, I encourage you to do it. Absolutely. But, um, that's, that is the real people I have a problem with. I have the people with these, uh, I have a problem with these people who try to utilize their power to hurt others for their own monetary gain. It's absolute dog shit and it's always led to horrible things and it always will. It always, always will. And anyone else who is falling for it, if you, like those those t toxic people that came in here and they were like, oh, you know, Jewish people are the problem. That guy is a, a symptom of the issue. He's the one that has fallen for this shit that those big companies, those horrific military industrial complex style companies are dishing out for control. They're the ones propagating these messages. They're the ones propagating these generalizations because... Uh, those who think in generalizations are easier to control. That is it. It is so easy to channel generalized hate. They, I mean, humans have done this for millennia. They were doing this before we had governments. They were doing this before. They were doing this when we had only tribes. When we were tribes of fucking humans, like, um, you know, against groups of Neanderthals. Dude, there was some orator over there being like, yeah, man, those those Neanderthals, those guys fucking suck, man. We we need to kill all of them. You know, we we there's not enough to go around. There's not enough to go around. We need to kill all of them, bro. We need to kill all of them. And and, and that's exactly what happened. We we've been doing this since the OG days. Humans are the fucking LeBron James of killing humans. For their own gain. That is the root problem. Greed. It's always greed. You want to be mad at something? Be mad at greed. Don't be mad at anything else. Don't be mad at a group of people. Always be mad at greed. Always, always, always be mad at greed. And that is why open discussion, shining a light on the shadows, having discussions and not trying to fucking cancel people for no fucking reason without understanding what they're saying and understanding the root cause of what he's saying, the fact that he's a symptom and not the cause of problems. Understanding that is the first step to actually changing your little corner of the world. And if you change your little corner of the world, slowly the world gets better. That is the way I feel. I 
with all of this discussion, I want you to know, guys, I feel hopeful for the future. I think humans are getting better. We're finding more creative ways to kill each other, sure. But I think in general, humans are getting better. And as a result, I think someday we'll be free of this shit. We are now in a situation where it may not feel it, but we are now in a situation where there are more people that have than have not. We are as close to economic equality as we've ever been in our history of humanity. We've never been this close. We've never been this close. And I genuinely believe it'll get better. That is why I wake up in the morning. That is why I work hard, both in business, which is my work, and why I work hard to create good content for you guys. Because I want you guys to have fun. I want you guys to get a little educated sometimes. This is why I talk about, you know, greed of Ubisoft and so on and so forth. It comes from the same place mentally. I hate greed of all kinds. You don't like Ubisoft, you don't like EA? Great, that's a step in the right direction. Now put that forward a little bit towards the greater problems of the world and you'll figure out that what I'm talking about are essentially analogies to every fucking root problem in the world. Everything relates to greed. Greed bad. Shocker that greed bad is the truth, but greed is bad. Hate is embedded in humanity? No, greed is. Greed is. Hate is a symptom. Greed is the real problem. A racial family didn't realize uh, my wife. Hate is hidden without realization sometimes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Kids, are, kids can be taught hate all the time. Emerus, that is exactly true. Completely based and true for you to realize it, by the way, my friend. I salute you, my friend. You're a badass. A man to admit, man or human, man or woman, to admit that they're wrong about something that believes so strongly for most of their life without even realizing it. Someone to admit that, that's the spark of humanity. That, in my opinion, is what is embedded in humanity. I think goodness is embedded in humanity. I think humanity is easily challenged into hate. Uh, ch channels, channeled into hate. But I don't think humans are hateful by nature. I think humans can be greedy by nature. And that is why things are so easily channeled. But I don't think humans are generally bad. If humans were generally bad, things would not be getting better. If humans were generally bad, we would not be reaching more and more equality in different and different ways all over the world. And it wouldn't be happening so fucking regularly. Do bad things still happen? Fucking absolutely. God, yes. But do we somehow, some way, against our base instinct of greed, somehow push humanity forward every fucking day? Also, absolutely. And why are general human beings good? Why is it when you can talk to a single person like me talking to uh, Sion right here, why is it that we came to an accord and we're understanding each other's points? Is it because person talking to person can often find common grounds. But when people are thinking about tribalism and thinking about people and groups and so on and so forth, that's when their worst instincts come out. What is it that that scene happened in, in uh, Men in Black? Hold on, let me see if I can find that scene. This one. It's a long scene. I'm going to try to find the exact quote, so I don't get DMCA'd. It's not here. They're on the bench. This way. I use this quote for the basis of a, a medical ethics paper. I want one or need one either. And I aced my medical ethics paper because no matter what the context is, this quote rings true. They're happy. They think they have a good lead on things. Uh, well, why, why the big secret? Here it is. Why the big secret? There it is. This is the scene. The people are smart. They can handle it. The person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. There it is. There it is. You can have any level of accord with almost any person. I have talked to people that have called me racial slurs, that have talked about how all of my people, Muslims, deserve to be in hell. And I have found accord with them. But talking to a group of them, that shit's impossible. That shit is impossible. Mob thought. Yeah, mob thought. 
And that is what greed channels people into. And that is what social media channels people into. Why? Because again, it's greed. Why is social media so good at creating divisive generalizations? Why? Because God damn does general generalizations and divisive generalizations generate clicks. And at its core, that's all they care about. That's all Twitter cares about. That's all Instagram cares about. That's all Facebook cares about. They care about your watch time. They care about how much you're clicking on their fucking post. That is all they care about. And that is why they, they literally lend into this shit. That is why they shovel it to you. If you comment on someone that you don't like and you're like, wow, you're a piece of shit for thinking this, guess what? The algorithm of Twitter or any of these other social media sites will make sure you see more of it. Why? Because you commented on it. And it's like, wow, you gave some interaction. Here's some more things you can interact with. There you go. Have some fun. And it feeds into it like a fucking cancer. You ever hear uh, about cancer being fed by sugar? And like sugar feeds into cancer and just like makes the cancer grow and grow and grow. It's like that. It's exactly like that. That's why you don't click on anything. True. And back to this one, I'm writing a book. Remind me of that scene from Men in Black. Yeah, Jay-Z Creations. I, I had a medical ethics paper um, about why uh, why you should go against the grain uh, and, and why like certain geniuses were certain levels of thinking. As in, like they were they were considered mavericks, they were considered wild, and so on and so forth. And I I wrote my paper on exactly that scene, JC Creations. And um, my teacher, when I started my presentation, I brought up the Men in Black scene, and she looks at me with this level of vitriol from a teacher that I hadn't gotten in years, bro, in years. And, uh, and she's giving me this look that basically said, for all intents and purposes. Boy, you better ace this, because if you don't come up with something special, I'm a failure ass. And I aced the conversation, and she had no other recourse but to give me an A. And she hated every second of it. And at the end of the at the end of the presentation, when I get my grade and everything like that, I'm like, ma'am, you didn't want to give that an A, did you? And she's like, No, I did not. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Oh, I just need the video to catch up. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, Sir Slackins. No worries. I will put this entire video up. It, it's, this is, no one, I don't think, like, look, dude, you look at the posts, you look at the quote retweets here. Let's look at the quote retweets. I'm sure they'll be normal people, right, guys? I'm sure the quote retweets in the situation will be completely fucking normal. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Yep, you are a dog. Apology not accepted. Yep, very basic take straight up. Uh, he's talking to the sign. He'll backtrack pretty soon. Um, I mean, that's that's fine. Uh, actually, disheartening to see this. Didn't even fully apologize. Why? You don't need to say the words, I'm sorry, dude. He's a fucking content creator. He's a fucking streamer. The fact that he admitted he's wrong is enough. People don't want to admit he's wrong. I don't give a fuck that he didn't say I'm sorry. I don't need to hear those words. That's fine, though. Uh, but, like, this person will be mad no matter what. Straight up, social media will be full of these people. Like, oh, yeah, this is normal. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this person is normal. You're going to have so many people say the wildest shit. The absolute wildest shit. So he's being accused of being racist. Oh, by the way, Luxy Games, I remember this bitch. She is the same person who wanted every single person, no matter who they are, no matter what they did with it, whoever played Hogwarts Legacy, which literally has a trans character in it. If you played Hogwarts Legacy, you deserve to burn in hell or something is what she said. I remember that day. I remember this person. I, dude, this bitch is always wild. Holy fuck. Absolutely. I I, uh, I I made the mistake of um, of uh, pissing off her entire community by pointing out that I raised $500 for the Trans Lifeline charity when I played uh, Hogwarts Legacy. And she called me a bigot and blocked me. I think she unblocked me, obviously, because I can see what she wrote. But she blocked me for a while for that. Yeah, there you go. I was, I was horrible enough to be part of the LGBT community and believe in, you know, shining a light on dark corners to the point that I played the game showcased the game showed that you can have a trans character in the game both as you know you playing as one and also one of the best side characters is a trans person 
and voiced by a trans actress. Um, uh, and I raised $500 for Trans Lifeline Charity. And this person still banned me. Still fucking blocked me. Why? Because this person doesn't care about creating good. All they care about is being right on Twitter and being performative. That is the problem with Twitter. This person is a prime example. Luxy Games, it's always the people that try to like put like, you know, hearts in their, their fucking uh, channel. They want to put stars. I'm so cutesy. I like, uh, you know, all those little like stuffed animal bitches or whatever. And, and they're always the worst fucking human beings. Worst fucking human beings. Exactly. The man or bear in the woods situation? Yeah, it's so stupid. It, dude, that entire man or bear in the woods situation is created around being divisive. It's created around having a question where women will pick the bear in the woods because they're looking at it from the aspect of the fact that they've had horrible situations in their lives and that's what they're thinking through the lens of. Or they know someone who did and it's, it's a horrific amount of women. And men are looking at the situation, looking at women, and being like, wow, this is really fucking a stupid question. So they're pissed off too. And they don't like to be demonized because no one likes generalizations. Guess what? Generalizations are bad. It's wild. It's fucking wild. This is why, like, one thing I hate seeing is, like, the, the fucking posts on Twitter about, uh, men, and it's, like, some something bad that some random guy did, so they're painting the brush that all men do this shit. I hate that shit so much. I hate it when men do it to women. Wh men do it to women all the time. Ah, uh, if she breathes, she's a thought. I've heard that shit all the time on Twitter, man. Holy fuck, I hate it all. I hate it all. It's so, it's so reductive. It's so, it's so delusional. It's so performative, and it's all based around getting fucking clicks. If you say what I say, which is, wow, generalizations are bad, no one will give that fucking post a like. But if you say, wow, women are bitches for this reason, you'll get like fucking 200, 300 likes easily on a fucking small post. If you say the same about men, ah, men are assholes because they're all fucking rapists. You'll get like a billion fucking likes. Why is that? Because social media loves to create generalizations and divisions based on generalizations. They love it. Oh, it's not the thought joke was a joke. I mean, it's supposed to be, Garzman. But you can you can tell how wild people are when they start to take the jokes is not so much of a joke. Dude, you look on Twitter and Adolf is making a big comeback, man. Dude, people were celebrating Adolf's birthday in wild numbers wild fucking numbers i remember five years ago when someone brought it up as a joke and everyone was like oh my god this is wild blah, blah blah and it was a joke now it's so ubiquitous that it is like you're like holy shit there's some believers here man there's a lot of believers here there's way too many believers for me to be comfortable with jesus fucking christ absolutely dude yeah you could you, dude look Look up Hitler's birthday, look up the Twitter post of that day, and you'll see some shit. I was like, I saw, I saw like a fucking slew of 30 of them, because I'll comment on neo-Nazis posts and, and comment about like how they're pieces of shit. And like, you know, I'll make fun of them. I like to mean people. I like to engage with those people, you know, and, and tell them that they're dumb. I like to call people on Twitter dumb when they're dumb, uh, which is the, which is why I see so many dumb people on Twitter. <laughs> I know I'm feeding into my own algorithm here, uh, but yeah, that's that. that I'm, I never said I'm perfect. Never said I'm perfect. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I see a lot of shit for that reason. Uh, and um, uh, flat, flat Earth started out as a joke. People believe it now. People are dumb. It might be quote again. Exactly. Yeah, it gets bad. It gets bad. For me, it's impossible to argue with either Zionists or anti-Zionists. I don't think it's possible to be clear-headed unless you're an outsider like me. Exactly, Dash of Hope. Yeah, that's why I gave the wild take. The wild take being generalization is bad. And, you know, um, uh, people dying on either side uh, en masse when they're innocents is just bad. It doesn't matter who they are. You know, Palestinians dying en masse is bad. Israelis dying on en, en masse is, is bad. Like, it's just it's just bad, bro. Like, it's just, I don't know what, I don't know why this take is so wild, Dash. <laughs> yeah, dude. People look at this take and I get like arguments about this take. And I'm like, how? Flat Earth has become an age old question since the Rome's founding time of Archimedes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's so funny because we solved this problem like centuries ago. And, uh, you know, Flat Earthers have created the problem again. And if you take them up in a plane and you show them the horizon, they'll be like, you're gaslighting me. The problem is 
people we, we were talking about base instincts of people one of the base instincts of people not only is it to path of least resistance it's also they never want to admit they're wrong why do you think it is so ironic when we go to the doctor disrespect video let's let's let me show you a prime example guys let's go back to this wild ass video doctor disrespect video <laughs> and let's look at the comments let's look at the comments you can count how many people think this oh you're you're trying to uh, you'll see over and over again <clears throat> people trying to say that i'm only making the video i am because i'm clout chasing that i'm doing it for clicks and so on and so forth when the truth is a literal opposite if i wanted to get easy clicks i would be the biggest doc dick sucker out there and his entire community would literally suck my dick i could pull my pants down pull out my schlong and be like i just supported your boy suck my dick and they would it is the most ironic shit ever bro most ironic shit ever smoothbore musket jesus christ that's crazy um yeah, but yeah, exactly. If, uh, flat earthers never want to admit they're wrong. No one wants to admit they're wrong. These guys, they don't want to admit they're wrong about Dr. Disrespect. Why do you think when I when when this entire situation happened, uh, everyone was like starting to yell at Dr. Disrespect fans. And I was like, don't, whoa, 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 guys, don't do that. Yell at the fans who stay fans. If they see the situation, learn about all the situation, and still can't admit that they're wrong, then they're a little fucked up. But if someone was a Dr. Disrespect fan, looked at him admitting to being inappropriate with a minor, and was like, wow, I was wrong. This sucks. I have mad respect for that human being. I have mad respect. It is hard as fuck to admit you were wrong. It is no one. I don't want to admit I'm wrong. I'm never wrong, to be fair. But I also don't want to admit I'm wrong. That's why whenever I die in League of Legends, I say I haven't died. You look at my score at 9 and I'm like, yeah, man. What a great game. We haven't died once. <laughs> so I, kind of memeing. But like, you know, I, I try to leave it for that kind of silly gaming type of thing. But it's, it stems from the same thing. No one wants to admit they're wrong. Absolutely not. Nobody needs to support somebody who got caught doing that or secretly does that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, completely agree, Dash of Hope. That's why I recorded a video about the situation's update suit uh, as well. Uh, that video will be going up soon as well. Um, uh, I would admit it. Exactly, Sion exactly buddy yeah and i give you full credit for that man i have more uh credit to give to those people than to people who realized he was a weirdo from the beginning like i mean i think it's hard to admit you're wrong H much harder much harder that's why i have mad respect for the act man i don't know if you guys know who the act man is the act man was a huge fan of disrespect he's a big shooter gamer you know he's grown up on halo grown up on cod a big cod guy uh the act man and so on and so forth and when everything came out like he literally had to say the words man i was fucking wrong this sucks i i i missed when you know disrespect was just a character and i could you know enjoy the character blah blah, blah. That, that was his entire thing and i was like yep there it is there it is and i gave him a lot of credit for that exactly sion it's really hard to admit you're wrong a hundred percent mm-hmm yeah exactly and and switch that's exactly what asmongold said he basically said in his uh, in his apology uh looking back i was way too much of an asshole here i'll, I'll, I'll show it again uh of course no one deserves to have their life destroyed you deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that he's admitting he's wrong he's admitting he's wrong the yak man <laughs> but yeah there it is and, and but like the thing is what we're going back to is every single person in the comments over here will be absolutely unhinged just showing like dudes someone showing someone get pissed on like what the fuck does this mean and it'll be getting hundreds of likes hundreds of likes thousands of likes equating it with hitler thousands of likes you know all this shit thousands of hundreds of likes it, and it's just gonna it's just gonna go on and on and on because twitter is a fucking cesspool for that reason and my take which is the most even take you will possibly find on this dog shit website. I can tell you it's only gonna get like five likes. 
I'm still going to post it. I don't give a fuck. But I'm just stating the facts. I'm just stating the facts. There it is. Um, do what? In my opinion, no one in the modern day will ever deserve to be called a Hitler. I hope not. We can always come up with a new piece of shit human being that caused genocide in World War III. We can always have that happen, Razor. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Cadax. And when that happens, that guy deserves to be called the new Hitler. But until then, I agree with you. Uh, but like, th that can always happen. Um, I can assume. Uh, I wouldn't assume anything. I would wait for the video. Uh, basically, um, he, I mean, like, he, he's, he's been very conditioned to hate terrorists, which is totally fair. Everyone does, and everyone has been. The media has fed into this, but they fed into generalizations. So his big issue, and I'll, I'll cover it in a little summary right now, um, was that he contextualized the and, and generalized the entire situation of Palestine to being Hamas. And he's like, wow, these Hamas people suck. They, you know, they believe in killing human beings, blah, blah, blah. And he said that for all Palestinians. And that's, that was the generalization he made. And it was a generalization. It was horrible. It was a bad generalization to make. And he admitted he was wrong about it. And that's what happened. The only reason I'm talking about this is because I'm a streamer. I'm a gamer. I'm someone who's watched Asmongold. I don't hate him. You know, I don't ha mercilessly hate him. I was just in the OTK's top streamer competition, right? Why the fuck would I do it if I hated him? I don't hate him. Uh, and I also do understand his level of generalization because I've had it happen to me for 23 years straight because I'm a Muslim who is all of these things. So that is the only reason I'm commenting on this. That is the only reason I'm commenting on this. Yeah. Um, uh, video game basement, uh, take, um, oh, oh yeah, yeah, the, the situation, yeah, yeah, exactly. Being called Hitler a Nazi feels shitty. Oh yeah, exactly. I think people overuse the term cat axe. It's like people overusing the term woke. People overuse terms all the time because it feeds into our base instinct of, like I said earlier, going to the path of least resistance. It's so easy to pull up someone you don't like and just say, oh, this guy's a piece of shit because he's a Nazi. And he just said like, oh, he doesn't like Yakuza or something like that. Like just some bullshit, like, you know, random ass take, whether it's good, bad or ugly. Like, and you're just like, oh yeah, this guy's bad because he's a Nazi. No, only a Nazi is a Nazi. Jesus fucking Christ. If you call everything a Nazi, the, the, the power of that word gets lost. I hate it when people do that. Uh, I thought you liked the beard. I think it's cool. Oh, I don't have the beard because I'm Muslim, dude. I have the beard because it looks good. <laughs> and I like having a beard. Dude, I have the beard because when I don't have a beard, cat axe, I look like I'm fucking 12. That's, that's why. <laughs> I get carded anywhere I go if I don't have a beard. That's why I have a beard. And also, it's a very soft beard. That is, that is literally why I have the beard. I, I actually only first grew out the beard in uh it was it was the it was the year infinity war came out um yeah exactly yeah exactly cadax when you when you overuse the term it takes away from what it actually was correct 100 percent correct 100 percent correct um uh damn it ads sorry about the ads um but yeah I, I grew out the beard for the first time when i was in uh uh in in the movie infinity war and I'm the biggest Captain America fan literally ever made. I've, I've been watching uh, Captain America shows, cartoons, blah, 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 reading the comics when I was like fucking learning how to read, okay? I'm the biggest fucking Cap fan ever. So when I saw, when I saw Captain America come out in Infinity War, catch the spear, you hear the music, da da dum 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 Dude, I was, I was fucking full mass super hard and i realized i wanted to do my first cosplay ever and when i when i wanted to do my first cosplay ever i wanted to be infinity war cap and i'd never grown a beard until that day and i was like shit i have to grow a beard because i was setting up for the cosplay and i was like all right and so i started to grow out a beard and i was like wow this actually feels good i thought it'd be scratchy didn't have any scratchiness i've never had a scratchiness to the beard uh, I've never, it's never felt uncomfortable. I thought my beard was going to be like really like hard and spiky. Like my dad's beard. My dad's beard is very hard and spiky, very annoying. 
Uh, you know, I don't like to kiss my dad in the cheek when he has the beard, or when he used to have the bigger beard, because it would, it would fucking, like, spike my my lips. And so I thought, all beards were like this. No, my beard is not. <laughs> Only my dad's was. So, yeah, that's when I started to grow out the beard, guys. That is when I started to grow out the beard, and I was like, oh, shit, this feels good. And everyone thinks it's handsome, and I think it's handsome, and I feel good with it. That's why I grew out the beard. Literally no other reason. Literally no other reason. Also, it is not a Muslim rule to grow out a beard. You'll find like countless Muslims that, that uh, don't grow beards. The only reason people equate it is because there is a belief system in Islam. Also, it is an incorrect belief system. Islam is very clear. You shouldn't idolize anyone. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have idolatry. Idolatry is bad. Idolizing anyone to the point of ridiculousness is not good. However, there is a large subsect of Muslims that will basically try to follow the actions of the Prophet and do all of the things he did, whether it makes sense or not. Oh, he washed his hands a certain way? I better wash my hands a certain way. Is there any other reason to do it? No. Is it a good thing to do? Not particularly. We've kind of grown for centuries since then. So should you do it in the same way? Probably not. So they see him growing the beard and they're like, oh, I got to grow a beard too. Nothing that says you have to grow a beard. Nothing. Literally nothing. Is it evil to grow a beard? No, it's not bad. I, th I think it's weird to grow a beard that long. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that looks good. But yeah, that's, 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 what, that's what the beard is about. The, the beard is, is just that. The beard is just that. Um, uh, sick people have beards for religious reasons, right? Um, uh, I don't know about the beer, but I know they don't, they don't cut their hair for religious reasons. Dr. Friesenberg, maybe that's what you're thinking of. That's why they have, like, the big, uh, the big turban and everything. If you take the turban off, they have, like, this giant braid of hair. Because they are not allowed to cut their hair. Um, that, that's, that's what they, that's what their belief system has in it, for sure. Now, it could have something with the beard as well, but I've met sick people without beards. But yeah, going back to it, guys, if you look at these comments, you will find the most unhinged shit and is on the base instincts of no one wanting to admit they're wrong, no one wanting to admit that they're generalizing just like he did, and no one wanting to admit that, um, you know, sometimes people aren't informed. Sometimes people realize it, and sometimes people apologize for it. And um, how that should be a thing that you celebrate, or at least acknowledge. When some... Oh my god. Shit like this, man. Shit like this. I hate shit like this. But yeah, this take is the most even take you will possibly find on social media of any kind about this entire situation. And I can tell you, I'm right. Absolutely, I'm right. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that uh, I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm too kind to him? Do you think I don't know what I'm talking about? Um, uh, however, if you think that, please understand like I said, I'm a streamer, and I am Muslim, and I've been Muslim for for all of my life, and I've faced ra racism in high degree since September 11, 2001. So I really do know what I'm talking about when it comes to generalizations, when it comes to my people getting killed of, of all kinds uh, in any country. I've had, uh, you know, my family get hurt in Pakistan. I've had my family get hurt in other countries. I've had family friends get hurt and killed on both sides of the conflict of Israel and Palestine. I have friends in Israel. I have friends in Palestine. Both have gotten killed. I don't like anyone getting killed. I don't think that's such a wild take. And I think people are generalizing too much. And that's exactly what Asmongold did. He just generalized Hamas's terrible views and terrible things that they do to the general population of Palestine. That was his crime. And he apologized for it. I think this is the most even take you'll find. And I'm pretty sure, guys, I'm never wrong. I'm literally not wrong here. And there we go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Absolutely. I would love to hear what you guys think. Uh, keep it respectful because I will ban weirdos. Uh, I've had to ban weirdos already in this channel uh, that have hopped in with racist comments. Um, and and it's, uh, it's, this is not cool. This is not cool. And it's not smart. If you show yourself to be a racist, you're a fucking dumbass. If you showed yourself to be generalizing, you're a fucking dumbass. That's it. That's that's it. That, there it is. There it is. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys like even takes, I know I don't normally talk about politics, religion of any kind. I only talk really about gaming 
and various gaming issues. So if you guys like gaming issues and you like hot takes and good takes and even takes and ones that are yelling about Ubisoft, drop a follow. Uh, actually, uh, a sub. It's called subs on YouTube. I'm pretty new to YouTube. I would just hit 1,000 subs. And um, uh, click the bell. And you'll find some awesome gaming takes. Lots of indie games in here. And uh, we like to keep it fresh. We like to keep it fun and cool. And uh, I'm Cap Corgi on Twitch. So hop into Cap Corgi where we talk about all these things live. And I'll see you guys in the next video. There we go. Raven takes uh, uh, games are games that no one plays to escape that one place to escape reality. Exactly. That's why I only talk about gaming. I want to be a place where you guys enjoy and we can talk about some serious things, but you guys can understand where I'm coming from without me having to talk about the thing. And that's what I try to instill. 